my Ouija experience. When I was younger, I played regularly at sleepovers. Around the age of 11 or 12, I was playing with my friend in her attic. She had her two-year-old brother with us. Anyway, we started talking to someone and we asked where in the room they were. It said, I'm in you. I looked at my friend and said her name and it said no. She said my name and it said no. Then we both looked at her little brother, who then stood up and bit and latched onto my friend's arm until we left the attic. We were too terrified to go back in there. A few years later, when I was about 13, 14 I played with a different friend at her house. At one point, it did predict things that eventually happened years later. Probably the scariest moment of my lift came from playing. I don't like talking about it, nor even saying the word Ouija. But here's how it went. It was a snowy day. I was in eighth grade. We had a day off school, so I decided to go to my friend's house before we went to play practice at school later on in the day. Not sure why that wasn't cancelled. We decided to play the Ouija board. We asked what its name was, but it said a number. Can't remember the number, but it was at least five, six digit number. I asked, your name is a number? It said yes. I thought that's weird. And my friend asked some questions about the future. It was getting time for us to go, but I am really starting to get curious if this was real or not. I asked the number guy if he wanted to meet us and show us that he was real. It surprisingly said yes. I told it to meet us upstairs at the school. It said yes. So we're at the school, which is completely empty of people except for the students in the play practicing in the auditorium and maybe two teachers in the same area. My friend that I was playing the Ouija board with had a major part in the play and was constantly on stage. I was getting impatient and wanted to prove to myself that the Ouija board was fake. I asked a different friend who had no idea of my intentions to come for a walk with me. We head upstairs and when I reached the top of the step, I could hear doors opening and closing, which makes me think other people are upstairs. The school was shaped like a U, so I was walking down a short hallway that met with a long hallway at the end. We reach the corner, and as we turn, we see it, all the way at the opposite end of the hallway, a giant shadow-looking thing. It reached from floor to ceiling, had to be over 10 feet, shaped in the form of a human, but looked like it was millions of flies flying together in formation, like I could see the individual flies shifting and buzzing. Then I heard the most horrific sound. I couldn't tell if it said my name. I think it did, but it was a screech and growl, very loud, all at the same time. My friend and I ran so fast back down the stairs that I practically rolled down. I was terrified for the next few years that it would show itself to me while I was alone. I couldn't sleep in the dark, and I was nervous any time I was by myself.